Hi everyone, it's Bella Gemma Nails, and today I'm very excited to be sharing with you this new DIY project. This bag is considered a stadium bag. I purchased it for 30 something dollars on Amazon, and I wanted to create a very elaborate stadium bag. It's completely clear, but I just covered the front flap with flowers and embellishments. And the inspiration for this bag was some of the other bags that I've designed that were Chanel inspired that were very popular. You all seem to love them. So I thought I'd give you another style idea. Now, I also wanted it to match some of the embellishments that I used for my last project, which was the cuff bracelet. It matches beautifully. If you haven't seen the video for this cuff, I'll post the links below for the handbags as well as the cuff. So make sure you take a look at those. If you want to learn how to make this bag, just keep on watching. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take this clear Chanel dupe bag and convert it into a masterpiece. So it'll go from this to this. For this project, I'm going to be using these faux leather flowers and they're very similar to the Camila flowers that are used in a lot of these Chanel designs. So I'm going to be figuring out placement. You can place them however you'd like, but since this is what they consider a stadium bag, which you can take to any stadium because it's see-through, I wanna make sure I cover at least the top flap so it's not fully visible, but the back will remain clear and visible. So figure out placement, take a photo, and follow the map. What I'm going to be doing for this particular design is basically overlapping the flowers over each other so that there aren't any visible gaps. In order to do that, we want to make sure that we position the outside flowers in a horizontal manner, just like this. And we will be taking the other two flowers and putting them vertically. And basically, you're just going to be creating a puzzle piece just like that. So just glue one at a time. It'll be easier once you start working on the project. Make sure there aren't any gaps when assembling the flowers on this side. You want to make sure that they are intertwined. Once you've set all the flowers, make sure you press them in so that they're all overlapped and touching one another. And also position the ribbon so that everything is symmetrical. So make sure you take a look at that. Okay, for the center flowers, these are not technically touching the plastic. They are only touching the ribbon underneath these flowers. So you're going to have to glue the ribbon to the actual plastic so that you secure placement. Okay, the next step is to place the little charms that I purchased on AliExpress and they were very inexpensive and they are adorable Chanel charms and or Chanel inspired. The little sweaters or tweed jackets have pearls and I think that's absolutely adorable. We're also going to be placing a an acrylic perfume bottle and I Love these, they're really beautiful. They're tiny, but they're great quality. Also from AliExpress, I bought everything in bulk. I paid less than, the bag itself was 30 on Amazon, and then I think this whole bag is going to cost less than $50 to create. So once I'm done with it, you'll see that it will not look like a $50 bag.
So the next step is to map out the rest of the embellishments you're going to be using next. Now this strand of pearls is what I used for this cuff that I created a few weeks ago. And these are the pearls that I placed on top of the cuff. And I'm going to be using what's left of the actual strand and I'm going to intertwine it in between the roses. I'm also going to be putting the acrylic perfume bottles and I'll be doing a lot more. So just keep watching. The next thing I'm going to be doing is adding these glass rhinestones and they are substantially sized and I'm going to be placing them in between the flowers. So just keep watching. These were about $3 for a small packet and I bought these in downtown LA. So I think they're pretty inexpensive for what you're getting and there's a lot of sparkle there. So what you're going to do is you're placing these rhinestones underneath the small flaps just to make sure to secure them so you're kind of hiding them between the petals. Now some of these charms I already have in my collection so I'm going to be utilizing them for this project so make sure you pick apart necklaces, earrings, anything that you already have in your collection to make this more of a Chanel inspired bag. See how the stones look embedded in the roses? That is what you want, as well as the pearl necklace. Okay guys, so I added the last of the rhinestones and embellishments. I've embellished the top of the hat there. Now you're going to let it dry. Okay guys, so here is the finished bag and I love the way that it turned out. Look at this. Between the big sparkly crystals and the acrylic perfume bottles and all the little accents and embellishments around it, this bag does not look like a $30 bag. This looks like a very expensive bag. It is very elaborate. Remember, you could pick apart old jewelry that you don't use to create your own design. I used an old pearl necklace that I had used on my cuff design here, and I just basically weaved that and intertwined that through the flowers. I used some old charms that I had from previous designs, such as this Chanel 5 and some other embellishments here. Now the outside embellishments, the hat, the bow, the jacket, the shoe here, and then the little purse. These were all bought at AliExpress. These were at a shop in downtown. Use any design or accents that you may have already in your collection and build your own bag. That's the fun part about designing. There are no rules. You are the boss of your own designs. So get creative with it and don't be afraid to experiment. If you like this project and if you want to see more of these designs, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up or pop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!